you know, one person I've always seen Diddy have some issues with, you know, except for when they first started. And that was Mace. Mace and, and Diddy had this big, Mace been calling him out forever, saying that he was, you know, stealing from him. He didn't get the credit he deserves. Uh, you know, he was in, he was locked in his contract forever, complaining about it. You know, what are your thoughts on that situation? Did you see anything or hear anything? Well, when I came around at that time, 2006, Mace was already gone. But I'm from Harlem, you know what I'm saying? So I actually know Mace, you know what I'm saying? And my feelings are that Mace is 100% right. I've always felt that way. You know what I'm saying? I've always felt that he was 100% right. I was in the streets when Mace got signed. He was 20 years old. When you think about the deals and the things that people sign, Puff is a manipulator. He's going to find you when you're down and you're out. And of course you're going to agree to some of these things because you're down and you're out. The same way when I got home from jail. I'm coming home from jail. Puff knew a way to manipulate me. Like, yo, he going to want to be around me. He just came home. All he knows is about me. I got money and fame. I'm going to throw him a couple of crumbs, but a couple of crumbs seem like a half of a pie when you don't really have nothing in you in that situation. So listening to the situation between him and Mace, it's ludicrous that you still got that man publishing after all these years. It's ludicrous that you gave that man a certain amount of thousand dollars. I don't want to call it out whether it was 20. I think it was 20 or something May said, and that you still got it 20 years later when if you really respect me and I really meant something to you, after that, I would have been, after I made a million dollars, I would have been like, yo, listen, now he's made that a hundred times over. So, of course, I, I feel like Mace have every right to feel the way that he feel. Because if you say we brothers and you say you love me the way that you do every day, then I shouldn't have to do all this. You should call me back to the table. You should say let's renegotiate that. I shouldn't have to go through all that. I hear that, man. Okay, do you have any stories with Mace or anything from back in the day? Nah, we, 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 we're two different age groups. He's more my little brother. I think I might have Mace by like at least like 10 years. You know what I'm saying? So I, I wouldn't have no stories with him. Okay. Only stories I have with him is when we was on tour, on the Bad Boy tour. You know, we would see each other. We would speak. Everything all right. Him and my little brother was really, really, really cool. You know, now one of the things, you know, they say they got like 100 witnesses and all that, man. You know, have you been contacted by the FBI? Have they reached out to you for anything? No. No. Okay. I mean, you, you got to think about, sometimes you got to think about, let's say, 2012. You know, people, the way that people make things is like, you might think that that time is relevant. You know what I'm saying? But... 2012 to 12, 2024 is 12 years. You know, it might come a time where they do reach out. We still at the beginning of this investigation. We still at the beginning of this indictment. You know what I'm saying? The only one that's been locked up is him. So I'm not saying they not going to reach out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying they haven't as of yet. That's not going to work. What will your stance be if they do reach out to you? My stance is always the truth. You know what I'm saying? My stance is the truth. I'm not going to lie on them, but I'm going to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the life that I live now calls for me to tell the truth because there's so many people that's affected. There's so many women that's affected. I got kids. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is just the truth. And if you really feel that you ain't do nothing wrong, then you shouldn't have to worry about nothing. Okay, that's what it is. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.